movies, forget, I'm telling you, forget Facebook, Twitter, the, the Bible is good, yo, the, the prophets on the, they was, they, was, they was in the school of prophets, right, the prophet said, slap me in the face, he said, spike me, he said, I will not hit you, you know, you're the, Elijah, I think it was the main prophet, he said, slap me, he said, I will not smite you, he said, when you leave here, a lion will attack you, because you didn't do what I said, he was like, man, <laughs> and a lion attacked, attacked him and killed him. So he turned to somebody else and said, Spike me. He was like, <laughs> The Bible got some crazy stories. Movies is corny compared to the Bible. Just take the time to read it. That's all. Just take the time. All right, that was a funny story. It's another funny story in there. Uh, Elijah was walking and these kids was mocking him. They're like, hey, go ahead, ball head. Go ahead, thou ball head. The Bible said he cursed them in the name of the Lord and two she bears came out of the woods and ate the kids. <laughs> Y'all better stop messing with these men of God. I mean, that's not funny. We pray for the kids' and families. That, uh. But the Bible got some crazy stuff. You ain't got to watch movies and all that stuff. I'm not saying don't watch, it's not the same, but I'm saying the Bible is interesting as well. But anyway, the point I was trying to make was how God made man was crazy. Theologians believe that as you, as you study the, the history of man, right? It says how when God created man, I'm going to say it real big and then I'm going to break it down. It says he created man uh, with the with the favorable, unconfirmed disposition towards him. I'm going to say it again. The Bible, the, I mean, theologians believe that God created man with a favorable, unconfirmed disposition towards him. What that means is favorable, meaning in God's favor. It means that God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all talking too much over here. What? I'm just playing. I'm trying to bring something big down so everybody can get it. A favorable, unconfirmed disposition towards him. In other words, when God created man, he created man towards him, to like him, to walk in the cool of the eat to God created man to love him. Right? That's a favorable disposition. Disposition means placement. Alright? Favorable means it's in my favor. So God created man with a favorable disposition towards him. Y'all got that? Kids, you understand what I'm saying? When God created man, Adam automatically liked God. He automatically wanted to be with God. He automatically. But the, the theologians say it's unconfirmed. In other words, it ain't fair. God, you can't create men, they automatically like you. Do they like you really, or are you the only option? If it's only Adam and Eve, does Adam really love Eve, or is she the only option? So theologians say, God, that's not fair that you created man to just like you. How you know that? How you know we love you, Lord, if you're the only option? And God said, okay, you know what, you're right. So what God did was he put a tree My God. in the midst of the garden. Yo. He said, all right, go touch the tree. <laughs> man, when man chooses not to touch the tree, when he says, I'd rather do what God says than what I want, when you choose God over the tree, then your love for God is confirmed. Because yeah. now you got another option. Yeah. Come on now. So we all have trees in our lives. It's called temptation. Yeah. Be smoking, drinking, girls, guys, uh, uh, anger, jealousy. We all have trees in our life. But these temptations are not in your life. To, to, oh, I'm going crazy. It's not to drive you crazy. It's only to confirm your 